Hi, this is Kevin from Sonoma Partners, and today I'd like to give you an overview of the navigation and key concepts behind Dynamics 365. The easiest way to think about Dynamics 365 is as a filing cabinet. Imagine that you're visiting your doctor. In one cabinet drawer, there might be folders for each patient record. And in another cabinet drawer, there might be folders with data sheets for commonly prescribed drugs. You can think about your interactions in Dynamics 365 in very much the same way which you can see as I expand the navigation pane at the top of the screen. Within the system, there are different types of entities representing things like contacts or leads. Selecting an entity is like deciding which drawer of the filing cabinet we want to open. And as I open a virtual drawer, I'm shown a list of records in the system. We refer to individual instances of an entity as records. Records would be the equivalent of folders in our filing cabinet analogy. Now, in a real filing cabinet, I always see all of my folders and the order that they're stored in is always the same. Here is one immediate benefit of using a digital system. As I open a virtual drawer, I'm shown what we call view. This is a configurable lens that can show a filtered list of records in a variety of sort orders. So if I'm looking at a list of leads, maybe I want to pare down that list to only view my leads. I can do this by navigating to the view selector and changing my view or my lens. Finally, as I find the specific record that I'm interested in, I can double click it to open it, just like I would pull out a file from my filing cabinet. As the record loads, notice that the navigation bar at the top of the screen displays some breadcrumbs, so it's easy for me to understand where I am in the system and where I came from. I started in the sales module, I navigated to the lead entity, and we're now looking at the Preston Davis lead record. And if I want to step back to where I came from, I can navigate easily back to the lead list view or my default homepage by clicking those breadcrumbs at the top of the screen. And that's a quick overview of the navigation and key concepts behind Dynamics 365. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for additional Dynamics 365 training videos for new users.